Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. It's time to go to the Moon Kingdom to stop Bowser. Let's go. Bowser's Moon Wedding Well, don't you look dapper. Those two must be over there. No time to dilly-dally. Let's go. Don't you feel light on your feet? Got slightly low gravity on this area? Which is useful for making l very long jumps. And the purple coins in this level are star bits. Very cool reference to Super Mario Galaxy. Ringing Bells Plateau. Watch out, the hole back there is real deep. Also, we've this got these blocks, which look familiar as part of the level, which is cool. Underground Moon Caverns. Probably one of the coolest areas. Weird, the gravity feels normal in here. There are also a few moons to get in this kingdom that we can get as well, which are creamish white, I guess. Let's grab these dry bones, which we can use to fly. If you shake, you can just fly faster, which is useful. Let's grab one of these tanks as well. I'm gonna grab those purple coins since they're a little bit out of the way. I think I'll get as many of the things down here that I can since this is very out of the way. Kind of. Let's take this tank a little bit further in. Let's see if I can get over this quickly. I actually need one of those things, don't I? Hang on. Oh, I just took it out. Anyway, there's also a life up heart here. Let's take this. Dry bones under the bridge for some purple coins. And over here, because in this pit is a key, just need to avoid touching the lava. And we can get another moon from that. Already broke the cage with the other tanks. We don't need to use this tank to break it open. And let's keep moving. Also, be careful not to die in this area, because if you die, you have to go all the way back to the start. You have to use a lot of the things we've found throughout our uh, Odyssey. Need to break these walls with the hammer bros. Get some more coins from this block, I guess. Very nice. Let's keep going. Got these caterpillars here that we can use, and they're all wearing the the wedding hat thing, which is cool. Let's 
go. I have to wait for the platform to come back so we can get those purple coins there. Now, if I can, I want to stretch over here and just hop out. There we go. And now it's time for a very cool section. Because we've got some bullet bills here that we need to use to just go everywhere. And this is a bonsai bill, so it's actually really big. Uh, but I also want to get these purple coins here. And if I can, get this bonsai bill again. Please. Oh, it's... Uh, I don't want... I don't want the small ones. Probably. Oh, 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 no! Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. That's a shame, because it means I have to go all the way back to the start. I'll probably cut back to being here. Oh, I'm actually here. There are actually invisible checkpoints, I guess. But anyway, if we don't go through this wall, I guess, I was hoping to come back with the bonsai build for this, but there's a power moon back here that's just around the barrier wall. Unfortunately, getting away from here is a little bit harder. We actually need to grab one of these small bullet bills. And we have to try and get to the platform with the... Oh my goodness. We have to try and get to the platform with the bonsai bills. Actually, I can probably just hop out here, right, and then grab a bonsai bill from here. Oh, there's actually, there's actually a platform here that I can use. Cool. The bonsai bills are really fun to use as well because they're just so big and strong. There we go. Ground pound that to make the platform appear, but we also need to go quickly because it will disappear after a little bit. We also need to grab these purple coins. So there we go. And let's keep moving. Got this charge guy here that we have. We have to hold down the Y button or shake to charge up and then release to charge in that direction that you're aiming. So you need to be a little bit careful of that, but it makes us very strong so we can break through all of these boulders around here. Okay, grab you. Charge up and turn around if I can, so I can charge across this platform because you don't need, if you're running at full speed, you don't fall between the cracks, which is nice. And let's just go straight through everything over here. Very nice. And let's go. <laughs> hmm, do I re do you remember me? You were ever so rude to me back in the Cascade Kingdom. In fact, you are quite rude to all my darling Brutals, which is why we're all here now. Now, I do believe it's lunchtime for my newly powered up Chain Chompkins. So we have a rematch with this lady, and her Chain Chomp now has more hats. But it's still fairly easy, so you just need to just shake to go faster away from everything, and you should be good. This is also a very big arena. Oh. Oh, bad. Oh, no, I got it. In time, let go. Just like that. One more hit to go, but this one's gonna be probably the toughest one, which isn't gonna be that bad. It's just got a lot more hats now. So we need to take down its hats slowly and carefully. And then, let's go.
Ever after hill. Hurry! Quick, quick! Wah, crashing the wedding, Mario. That's tacky even for you. Also, your outfit isn't halfway fancy enough for the occasion. Not that it matters since you weren't invited. So now it is time to make uh, like a bouquet and get thrown out. Get ready, Mario. Here's your happily ever after. It's time for a rematch with Bowser. It's fairly similar to the previous fights that we've had with him. But now, things are gonna be very different. Different. Jump. Keep going, there we go. And now, we wanna start spinning because this is gonna make life a lot easier because it's gonna breathe fire and jump now and while we're spinning and jumping we actually hover in the air for quite a little bit of time jump too early we can make makes it a little bit easier to dodge his fire like that okay give me the heart and let's get his hat it's gonna jump three times and now the things he throws at us are in fire so we actually have to dodge those we can't just break them as long as you're going left and right every time he throws one, you should be good. And also on these jumps with his tail, you can jump a lot later than it looks like you can. There we go. The phases just came to, seem to re repeat themselves, so... Here we go again... Like that... And again... Okay. This song, oh my goodness. Let's finish this. You have to jump over his tail three times, and once again. Just a quick, tricky thing at the end, and there we go. How are those two all right? 
What are we going to do? We're gonna capture Bowser, that's what. We need to hurry and get out of here. Why to attack? Shake to breathe fireballs that will go forward. Just break everything you can to go forward. These moon block platforms will go away after you stepped on them. Once they turn yellow, you know that they're breaking apart. Just dodge everything. And this is so cool. Also, if you jump and swipe, you can stay in the air for just a little bit longer so you can save your jumps a little bit. Now let's break this pillar here. And let's keep going. This is so cool. And we even get to go through this pipe as Bowser and become Pixel Bowser with Peach on our shoulders as well. We need to be quick though. We can breathe fire in Pixel. Oh, I failed. Well, let's try this again. We can breathe fire by pressing Y, which breaks these block piles. Block, block, blocks? Have to be careful though because the ground beneath us is collapsing slowly. Oh, go, 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 go. We can break these blocks from underneath as well, which is useful. Just take these jumps slowly and carefully. Make our way up. And also, when you come to one of these walls, ow. You can kind of fireball from afar, but also just keep swiping because it's way faster once you're up close. Fireball, 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 swipe, 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 swipe. And let's go. Okay. I see the outside, we're almost there. It's falling apart, quick, get to the middle! i 
gonna start. And that was Super Mario Odyssey. I love that final cutscene. Especially with Bowser and Mario getting rejected. It's just Mario patting Bowser on the shell. Oh my goodness, and that last song as we're escaping the moon. I think that's even what's called Escape from the Moon or something like that. And it's such a good song, I can listen to it for hours. Literally, I've I've listened to it for hours before. But oh my goodness, this has been quite a journey. It's such a great game. I cannot even I can't even tell you enough how amazing and fun this game is. It's beautiful. I'm just gonna gush over the credits, don't mind me. This music, just, ah, oh. All these pictures of things that we've seen and done. Oh, this game was a knock out of the park. It was not, not even that, it's just even more than that. And it's so cool that we got to capture Bowser and play as him for a bit. Even in the 2D section as well. It's such it's so cool. Oh my goodness, there's a guy talking about the beach volleyball. Ah uh, That is 100 percent the hardest moon in the game. And I've already done it. And I did it in six minutes, that's pretty good. The beach volleyball was actually what I listened to um, Escape from the Moon for hours on my first time. Also, how did we capture Bowser and also the power line? Thank you so much for playing my game! But wait, what is this? The moon blocks. You can now travel to the Mushroom Kingdom. Additional power moons are in stock at the shop. Music list has been added to the map screen. So calm, so peaceful, like our trip to the Moon Kingdom was all a dream. But good thing it wasn't, because we saved our two dear friends. That nightmare is over. Hooray for us! But I've liked our travel so much, I don't want our journey to end. I mean, there's still so much to do, so many hats you need to meet. And I bet if we, if we collect even more Power Moons, we'll be able to travel somewhere new. So our trip is far from over. One more hooray, I say. But for starters, let's head up to Peach's Castle. We'll do that, but not right now. And now, we can reach the dark side of the moon, but also, Power Moons are now global. You can collect Power Moons in any level and deposit, the, deposit them in any level. So that's amazing. Also, the Mushroom Kingdom is available to us now. 
And the purple coins for this kingdom are based on the coins from Mario 64, which is very cool. And while we're on things that are just way better now, if we go to the map screen and press the lists, if we go to the last list, we can now listen to any song from the game that we've heard. And it's just amazing. Especially because it means we can listen to Escape from the Moon. Ah, uh, where is it? Hang on. Ah, uh, where, where, where? Oh, maybe we can't. Oh no, we have to do some more moons first before we actually unlock that, I think. Well, at least we get to listen to Above the Clouds for now, while we're still getting the rest of the moons. But this, being able to play the music, whatever music you want anywhere, is such a nice thing to unlock at the end of the game, so... But anyway, we have plenty more moons left to get since we've unlocked another kingdom, and we've, we've barely touched the surface on the last few kingdoms, just because I wanted to get to the end of the story. Oh my goodness, I am so happy right now. There's just so much more left to do, and it's beautiful. Whilst we've got some seeds to collect, so I'm gonna try and get as many of those now as possible. But no guarantees. Oh my goodness. I'm just so happy right now, I don't even know what to say. We're at the best part of the game now though, because we, we're, now we just have to collect moons, and collecting moons is just fun, so. Oh my goodness. There's so many things left to do. I'm just gonna start repeating myself now, basically. Also, this is the Tanuki tree, and then we can see that there's a moon on its tail. And of course, we've already seen that the moons in this kingdom are stars, and it plays the Super Mario 64 theme when you get them. Pops out of the tail. This is so nice. Probably can't listen to this song forever though, but I'm gonna enjoy it while I can because it's it's one of my it's my favorite version of this song, so I might as well listen to it as much as I want. Mushroom, mushroom Pond? Oh, does it look like a mushroom or something? I don't know. Not really. <laughs> Looking at the map to actually get a better look at that shape. I don't actually know where the last seed is though. I was playing... I did the end of the game on my other file last night, so... I got- I know where these first three are, but I don't remember where the last one is. It's probably on the other side of the level. So I'll have to go get that. And I love that the moons are universal now, especially because of the color of them being a gradient thing. From blue to purple, or pink, I don't know. This also means now, since we can get moons in any level and deposit them in any level, that if we go... On, only to other levels using um, uh, the paintings, we can actually get every single moon, or most moons, without touching Odyssey, which means we can just build them up. Which is why I'd recommend actually going through the game and getting as least as, uh, as little as possible, so that after you beat the game you can go back and get them and then just have so many to deposit all at once. So, we're gonna be doing something along those lines now, and I might even... I might even, off-screen, start another profile and go through that with as little as possible, so I can actually show you as many moons as possible to deposit at once. Which, along those lines, uh, once you beat the game, you can buy as many moons from the shop as you want. They're all the same price as previously, so I'm pretty sure it's every hundred coins is a moon. Which means you can just get as many of those as you want as well. Even if it, um, if, even if you, uh, max out how many moons you can possibly have put in the Odyssey, you'll still be able to put in more, which is nice. Because it means you can get, like, you can grind coins and just buy more moons. And it's just absolutely amazing that that's possible. Anyway, let's get some more stars and moons. 
And I kind of want to talk about something real quick. I kind of hope that at some point in a Mario game, they have multiple collectible types. Like, same kind of idea, but different things, like the stars in this level. And I, I also thought that, what if you collected shines during the day, moons at night, and stars in special levels? Which I think would be a pretty cool idea, but I, I, I doubt it's going to actually happen at some point, but maybe. I can hope. I can hope. Anyway, let's keep going. Grab some more of these pepper coins. There's just so much to do, and I love this game. And this music. Uh, where is the last seed? I really need to find that. I feel like I might know where it is, but I can't remember exactly. And it wasn't over here, which is surprising, unless it's on one of these side platforms. Which it could be. I didn't see it when I was down there, so... It's possibly not down there. Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, I think for now, that is it for Super Mario Odyssey. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.